Well, the holidays can be filled with happiness and excitement, but not for everyone. The Star 104.5 Adopt a Family Radiothon helps the Salvation Army provide gifts and food to families who'd otherwise go without. And with us today, morning co host Chris. Chapman and Ricky Woods, welcome back. Nice to have you. Hi, guys. guys. Thanks How for having us. We love having Fantastic. you. Fantastic. You okay? Uh, full of food. Yeah, yeah. still? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All weekend, just keep eating the leftovers. Were you downtown yes. again uh, this year? For the for tree the, lighting? Yeah, with beautiful. the mayor. How'd it that was go? gorgeous. I think mm -hmm. the colder it is, the more brilliant the display. Yeah. Right. So it was very brilliant this yeah. year. That's thousands right. of people yeah. down and there. And she yeah. flipped the switch yeah. last week, right? So we've got Christmas music. You're putting us all in the mood now. The <laughs> Absolutely. No kidding. I was listening to the station a little bit I over know, the weekend. Get you in the mood. Kids. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's talk about this adopt a family, uh, this radiothon. How does this work? Well, it's coming up on Thursday and Friday, and we do it from 6A to 6P, or however long it takes, mm -hmm. both days, to get every family that needs adopting here in Omaha adopted. And we work with the Salvation Army. And they have, it was a couple of weeks ago now that we went down to the Salvation Army to talk to people who were applying for the program. Mm -hmm. These are people who feel like they need a little extra help over the holidays, and this is where people in Omaha can step in and just give that little bit of extra help. We're taking a look at video from last year's Radiothon. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. How, how many families, now that, that you're working, you're meeting the families, do you have an idea about the number uh, that will need to be adopted this year? It varies year to year. Um, last year we did 20, just over 2,500, mm -hmm. um, and uh, we were counting them up. So this is our 15th year of doing adopt a family with the Salvation Army. Uh, over 27,000 families have been adopted by folks right here in the Omaha that's metro. Amazing. And that's, that's not people, incredible. that's yeah. families. No. Yeah, some of these families are families of 12, 14, I mean, large families. And you've opened it up to the, the right, the companies are already starting to maybe take on some of those larger families mm -hmm. where an individual might not have the resources to do that. So companies are already adopting those big families. But what can we do? You mentioned it's coming up here, but once the Radiothon starts, what are you asking for from us? Well, you can tune in and we'll give out that phone number many times. And you saw in the video, there's a lot of people there answering phones. Mm -hmm. You've been down to answer yeah. phones with us. Yeah. It's a really fun it experience, is. isn't it? I enjoyed it. There was one little boy last year, I remember. It was his idea. And so he called in and his mom said, yeah, if you want to do it, if this is in your heart to help someone else, please do. Yeah. And so he called in and they adopted a family and you start to learn about the other side of the story, which is really special too. But yeah, back yeah, to absolutely. what we Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we had a girl call the studio the other day wanting to know how much it would cost to adopt a family because she's saving her money right now so that she's ready on Thursday to adopt a family. People do this year after year because of what it gives back. You're giving to the community, you're adopting a family, and what that entails is uh, providing a meal mm -hmm. for the family and buying a gift for the children in the family. So it's not a big commitment. Some people go above and beyond that, but that's all you have to do, and then it's one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. You meet these families in Omaha who are struggling, whether that's because of medical expenses or a job loss or a car accident or trying to put themselves through school and you're helping them just get over that little hump of the holidays. Yeah, there's all kinds of reasons. Remind mm -hmm. us again, how are the families actually chosen? Well, you mean chosen by the, even the Salvation like if you Army. Call, the Salvation yeah. Army. Oh, the Salvation Army. Okay, so they come down and they're actually interviewed by the Salvation Army and they go through a process um, and then they're selected to be put into the program. And we were down there um, actually interviewing some of those families that are going through the process. Um, and every year, one or two or three, or, you know, they all are very important, no question, but mm -hmm. they'll stick in our heads and mm -hmm. we'll leave there going, boy, I wish I could just adopt them right now. Yes. I mean, to hear their stories and to see the struggles and to, and you, you know, to feel the tears streaming down their face mm -hmm. about how difficult it is. And for some of these folks, um, it's, uh, to use a, the word embarrassing sometimes, because they feel like, I really don't want to come down here and be a burden on the program, but I need help. Right. I need help <laughs> right now. Yeah, well, let's um, talk about it. So yeah. 104star.com is a website. She's having a cough. That's okay. She's been on NyQuil for I don't know how many days now. <laughs> but uh, Adopt a Family Radiothon, Thursday, December 4th, and Friday, December 5th. It's, it's a 12-hour radiothon, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., 898-6050, or 104star.com. We lost one. It's been the first time we've ever lost one of our co-hosts, but we Well, She'll you know, back. in the meantime, She'll we should, uh, you know, oh, bring Oh, what did you bring? You, you brought something for us? Yes. I'm well enough now to Now she's back. I thought you'd be back for that. So did you bring these for us? Those are yes. for you. Okay, well. Because it is the season like of gifts. giving. This is going to be good. <laughs> now, this is what it's like for anyone who opens a gift, obviously, you know, everybody uh, loves to open a gift. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> what are your next two wishes? That's great. You're hilarious. You guys are classy. What's your say, Mary? 
Why don't what you happens it? under the mistletoe stays under the mistletoe. <laughs> you guys are great. Chris Thank and Ricky you. from Star Wars. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Thank Christmas. you both. Happy holidays. Yes. Yeah.